Well, group stages are officially done following a tiebreaker match between TSM and Flash Wolves, and Flash Wolves has come out victorious. I'm joined right now by Steak. Uh, Steak, this group stage, I feel like, is the was the closest uh, group stage we've seen at an international tournament. What was it like for you coaching Flash Wolves through this whole thing? Um, this group stage is definitely the closest one, uh, and our performance in the first couple of days were pretty bad. But I'm really glad we got everything together in the end. Yeah, what do you think it was that allowed you to come back from the you know rough start in the beginning? Um, at the first few games, our top lane was heavily heavily ganked, and in lots of situations, we didn't even really have a good champion to pick. But in the last games, we got comfortable with the meta, the whole meta everyone's playing. And we played, we played a lot better. Yeah. Now they've been saying this like crazy on the broadcast, but Flash Wolves was predicted to possibly be the second best team here, uh, and then kind of had a rough start. Now that you have made it out of group stage, are you going to show uh, some like that high level play everybody was looking for? Um, I think we would be playing. We are going to play better than we are at this group stage even a lot better than our last few games next week. And and it is worth pointing out that you were one of only two teams to take a game off of SKT, who you will be facing. Uh, I hope you don't you aren't offended by this, but it would be a huge upset, I think, if you beat SKT. Uh, do you think you can? Um, I hope we have the same chances in best of fives as we have in best of ones. Because yeah. okay. we've won more games in best of ones. Yeah. Very good. Well, we'll have to see. Uh, now you have four days off, so what do you plan on doing to prepare uh, the team? Just a lot of scrimming or? Um, just a lot of scrimming and a lot of um, correcting our mistakes because we still make pretty much mistakes in our games. Yeah. You know, kind of wrapping this up, uh, I think lots of Western fans, when they think of international events, they see like SKT all the time, they see TSM all the time, uh, you know, G2 now, maybe previously Fnatic. A lot of people probably are just now starting to realize like, hey, wait, Flash Wolves is always here too. Uh, so, I mean, you've been at so many international events. Uh, how do you think Flash Wolves has progressed over all these years of international events? Um. I think the more international events we play, the more we learn like how weak we were, and we try harder every time because we know the gap is like the difference between us and the number one teams are larger than we thought every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, just we prepare more and more and more and more because of these international events. Yeah, and then. <coughs> Maybe just one more question. The other matchup will be G2 versus Team WE. Uh, based on your, you know, watching those teams and playing against them, who do you expect to come out on top there? Um, I think they both have a high chance. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I can't blame you. Group stage was so many 1-1s. So, all right, very good. Anything you want to say to any of the Flash Wolves fans out there? Um, thank you, everyone, for supporting us. And... Remember to watch our game and cheer for us versus SKT. I, it's a tall, tall order to uh, to <laughs> overcome SKT, but I'm, I'm sure you guys will put up quite the fight. Looking forward to seeing uh, potentially even an upset. For when else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things MSI here at Yahoo Esports.